In this video, we are going to apply mesh analysis technique in a circuit where dependent and independent both the sources are present and will extend this technique for the meshes more than two. Here problem is this. We have to get a mesh currents I1, I2, I3 which are flowing like this. And there are two dependent voltage sources are given which depends on the current Ix and Iy. So let's mark where is Ix and Iy. So Ix is this current given by them and Iy is this branch current. So based on these currents, voltages are developed. Now Mesh 1 will have a mesh current I1 give rise to voltage across all the resistors of this polarity. Similarly for mesh 2, and for mesh 3 also. Let's apply KVL to mesh 1. Let's start from the voltage source in this direction minus plus so plus 5 plus minus minus 1 into i1 so I will write minus i1 plus minus a voltage source so minus i y is the value one ohm once again have the voltages minus i1 because of i1 and plus 1 into i2 because of second current second mesh current i2 so over here if you see properly i y is the variable which need to be replaced so substitution equation for i y will be now we need to write i y is the branch current for this branch and flowing now what this branch is common between two mesh where I2 is flowing down in this direction and I3 is flowing up. So since the given direction is downward, so I2 is dominant over I3. So I can say Iy is nothing but I2 minus I3 is a substitution equation for Iy. So let's substitute. So if I substitute, I will get phi minus I1 minus Iy is I2 minus I3 minus I1 plus I2 equal to 0. So let's simplify phi minus I1 minus i2 plus i3 minus i1 plus i2 equal to 0. So this will give us minus i2 cancelled with plus i2 and in the end what we will have is minus 2 i1 plus i3 equal to minus phi equation number one remember this time we are having three loops so we should have three equations so one equation we have already got let's go ahead with the application of kvl to mesh 2 so let's start from here plus minus so minus i2 plus minus minus ix plus minus minus i2 minus plus plus i3 
plus minus minus i2 minus plus plus i1 minus plus plus i y equal to zero. This time we should have a substitution for i x also along with i y. i y we have already written. So for i x we need to write a substitution equation. So i x is this current and this current is matching with the current that we mark which is i1. So the substitution equation is i x is nothing but i1. So along with the i y which is i2 minus i3 we have a substitution for i x as i1. So if we substitute we will get minus i2 minus i1 minus i2 plus i3 minus i2 plus i1 and i y is i2 minus i3 equal to 0. Let's simplify this. Now if you see properly minus i2 plus i2 is getting cancelled minus i1 plus i1 is also getting cancelled plus i3 minus i3 is also getting cancelled so what we got over here is minus 2 i2 equal to 0 and this will give us a mesh current i2 as 0 ampere straight away okay now let's go to third mesh so in third mesh it is very simple okay why because in third mesh what we are having over here is a current source so if a only current source present in the mesh the mesh current is fixed by that current source so i can directly say i3 will be influenced by this current source only thing we have to check the direction of current whether it is matching with the current source given or not so i3 is flowing in this manner for this branch it is down but one ampere is given in upward direction and i2 as minus 2.8788 ampere so when we want ix and iy so if you see carefully, Ix is nothing but I1 minus I2. So if you substitute this I1 and I2 well over here, I will get Ix as 1.5152 ampere. So this is the final answer, which is Ix. But I1 is same as I1. So that is minus 1.3636 ampere. So here is the solution for this problem. Thank you.